it's really easy for mathematicians to make things seem much harder than they actually are. This often comes down to either confusing vocabulary or confusing notation. While these words or symbols will always have a purpose and will end up making life easier, when you're first learning them, it can be hard to keep it all straight. The topic that this lesson is on, function composition, is one of those topics. It can seem complicated at first, so let's start small and ease you into it. We'll begin by reviewing what function notation is. Basically, it's just another way of writing an equation. Instead of saying y equals 4x minus 1, we can say f of x equals 4x minus 1. This notation now gives this function a name, f, and allows us to substitute anything we want into it. Instead of f of x, what if it was f of w? That means f of w is just 4w minus 1. We don't have to use symbols either. How about f of 6? Now we just put a 6 in that spot. 4 times 6 minus 1 is 23. We could even use random shapes if we want. How about f of smiley face? I just plug that smiley face right in, which means f of smiley face is just 4 smiley face minus 1. Let's up the difficulty a little bit. Instead of substituting in a single term, what if we tried an expression with multiple terms? Maybe f of negative 2m plus 3. Just because it's a bigger expression doesn't mean we do anything different. Where there used to be an x, or a smiley, or a 6, or a w, now I put negative 2m plus 3. That gives us this, 4 times negative 2m plus 3 minus 1, which we can then simplify with the distributive property and combining like terms to end up with our answer, negative 8m plus 11. So as you can see, we can substitute any old thing into a function. So why not another function? That's exactly what a composition of functions is. We take one function and plug it into another one. If we defined another function, let's say g of x to be 3x squared, we can then evaluate f of g of x by doing exactly what we have been doing for the last few minutes and just plugging one function into another. We start with the outside function f, 4 times something minus 1. But everywhere that we would normally have put an x, we now substitute in the function g of x. So instead of 4x minus 1, or 4w minus 1, or 4 smiley face minus 1, we have 4g of x minus 1. But since we know that g of x is just 3x squared, we can substitute that in as well which makes f of g of x equal to 4 times 3x squared minus 1. Simplifying again gives us our final answer as 12x squared minus 1. And that's it. But composing functions can be difficult because seeing all those letters f and g and x can be daunting. Even when you get that part, it can be easy to do the problem backwards and substitute the functions into each other the wrong way. So let's look at an example or two and